guys put yourselves in a position to have a game seven. Going back to Philly, how much does it help you guys knowing that you've already won playoff games there um, this this series? Um, to be honest, I don't think any of it matters. It's, it's one game. Uh, they came in and uh, took care of business to try to force a game seven. And uh, all the other games don't mean anything. This is one game. Uh, both teams in a win or go home situation. So, Terrell Thomas. Trey, kind of following up on that question right there, um, what's your mindset like going into uh, your first game seven as the leader of this young Hawks team? Uh, what do you guys need to do to come back with a win in Philly? I uh, just got to just got to go in there with a uh, the right mindset. Um, going there locked in and uh, going there like it's a business trip. Um, going there, try to take care of business, and um, that's the plan. Thank you, Brandon Harper. Hey Trey, I don't know if you you know know the extent of Bogey's injury. Obviously, him leaving you know during the game. How concerning is it? Uh, for you when it comes to his injury? And are you concerned about his status for game seven? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know too much. I know uh, I know he was out for most of the second half. And um, I know he, he's going to try to get treatment and hopefully be ready for game seven. But if he's not, it's the next man up. And uh, we got we to gotta be ready to play uh, with or without him. So obviously, he's a big piece of our team, brings a lot of scoring. And uh, he's a big part of our team. But um, we nobody's gonna feel sorry for us uh, if we lose. So um, we got to we got to go out there and, and play hard. Chris Kirshner. Hey Trey, did you feel like the team was just a, a little bit anxious tonight, especially with the amount of uh, free throws you guys missed? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I missed. I missed way too many free throws tonight. I, don't, I think I missed two or three. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know if it's anxious or anything like that. I think it's. I mean, it's, it's basketball. It's shit's hard. It's, it's hard to win. Uh, it's hard to win. They're number one seed for a reason. Um, I mean, they got a lot of talent over there. And uh, for us, we just we just um, been bat battling and fighting with injuries all season. And uh, it's been tough, uh, especially, I mean, guys with Bogey going out, Dre. Uh, that's Those are two big, big pieces of, of our team, Cam. Um, so for us, we just, it's, uh, I don't think guys are anxious. I think it's, it's more, this is two really good teams and, Guys are battling out. I mean, they didn't come in here and blow us out. We just, we just, they get, they make a little bit more, more plays on the stretch. Steve Hummer. Yeah, Trey, what did, what did you see from them uh, coming out of the second half? They made a little bit of a run and put a little distance between, between the two of you there. Uh, Seth, Seth got going. I uh, think they made an emphasis of getting him involved and getting him going. And he really, he really uh, got him going. He started out in the 12 0 run to start the second half. And, uh, he was a big piece of that. McLean Baxley. You know, since game one, you know, uh, the Hawks as a team hasn't really shot the ball particularly well. What, what has Philly been doing the past couple of games to kind of, uh, you know, m minimize y'all's success on offense? Uh, I don't know. I think, think guys are getting a lot of good looks and good good shots, which is not not making them. And, uh, I mean, shots like that uh, – I mean, sometimes it's, it's like that, and um, but yeah, no, it's tough not not seeing the ball go through the hole uh, as much as we had throughout the season um, right now. But um, it's, it's part of it. We got to find a way to, to get through it and, and knock down some shots. Just a couple more uh, from Christos. Hey Trey, what what was the biggest lesson of tonight's game for your team, and what was your message in the locker room ahead of Game Seven to your teammates? Um, that is one game. Um, is one game is winner go home. Um, gonna go up there. It's gonna be a tough battle. Uh, both teams are gonna fight, and uh, it's game seven. It's what everybody wants. So, it's gonna go up there and uh, and have fun. Chris Kirshner. Uh, Trey, the team's efficiency in the second half at the rim was was down from where it was in the first half. Did they do anything differently to you know limit the uh, the amount of shots you guys got at the rim? Uh, I'd have to go back and look at the film, but I mean, I don't. Off the top of my head, I don't, I don't really remember them doing too much different. Um, I mean, I, I don't really. 
I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, I think we had a lot of good looks. If I could remember, guys were, were getting some good shots and um, shots just weren't falling tonight. And, um, sucks that it happened tonight, but uh, sometimes it's like that. Going to try to get through these last four. Uh, Jonathan Simmons. Hey, Trey, uh, no, it was a tough game tonight. Uh, so two things. Coach had mentioned uh, they didn't feel that the ball was working uh, around the perimeter as much as possible. Uh, is that a difference in their defense from what you guys have seen? And did you feel at any point, because some of your teammates weren't making shots as they used to, that you had to take more of the onus of scoring yourself? Uh, no, I mean, I always try to take what the defense has given me. And uh, tonight they were, um, I mean, really not – I mean, especially when Bogey went out, uh, they were really just focused on uh, trying to make me a score. And you could tell by the gaps and open lanes that I had. And, um, I mean, it was just really just trying to read the defense. So, um, no, I don't ever have a certain type of mindset like that. I always just try to make the right play and uh, just try to live with the results that way. Thank you. Last three uh, from Andres Lopez. Thank you. Trey, you're going into a game seven scenario as a visitor. Obviously, given your track record, we see you almost thrive and almost enjoy being a visitor and you feed off of the hostile energy of a crowd. Um, I guess my question is, how comfortable are you going into this game seven? You know, I'm always comfortable. Uh, it's always basketball at the end of the day. It's That's how I feel. Uh, I'm always comfortable when I'm on the court and because uh, I've worked so hard and I put in the work, so. Um, no matter if it's a game one or game seven, um, I mean, I'm going to feel comfortable. And it's just, it's got to be basketball. Last two. A piece from Danny Thompson and then James Hill. Trey, Danny Thompson with the three point conversion. When the Sixers switch from Ben Simmons to maybe Seth Curry on you, do you, does your mindset change? on when it comes to attacking the rim when Ben Simmons is guarding you compared to guys who are about closer to your height? Uh, no, nah. no, nah, I don't, I don't think that, I don't think that way. I just, I try to make a play, whoever's guarding me, I don't, I don't really care. So I just, I try to make a play. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it. So. Final question from James Hill. Trey, uh, the goal of the team is to get to the finals, to win, to get to the Eastern Conference finals and to continue to build a winner. Can you just talk about uh, this program and, and Hawks basketball and you guys are getting better every day and uh, you're one step away from the Eastern Conference? Yeah, I mean, I mean, this, this season has been a roller coaster. Um, this team has fought and, and battled through a lot uh, since the beginning and um uh, to be here where we are now, uh, it's, it's, I mean, a lot of people wouldn't have guessed we'd be here. And uh, we're one game away from going to the Eastern Conference Finals, and uh, we got to go on the road and get it. So um, that's, that's pretty much it. And we're, we're focused, we're locked in, and, and uh, we know what we got to do.